Surrey, a six foot eight inch senior from Selma, Alabama. Number 13, Curtis Berry. For Missouri, a six foot five inch junior from Charleston, Missouri. Number 32, Ricky Frazier. For Missouri, a six foot 11 inch sophomore from St. Louis, Missouri. Number 40, Steve Stepanovich. For Missouri, a six foot one inch freshman from Anderson, Indiana. Number 15, Sean Teague at guard. Missouri, a six foot two inch sophomore from Blue Springs, Missouri. Number 20, John Sunbold. Coach for Missouri, Norm Stewart. Against for 48 teams tonight, and these are two of them. What an exciting road it is, Frank. All of it will be culminated on March the 28th and March the 30th. Stepanovich, the 6'11 inch sophomore, 250 pounder, jumps against B.B. Davis at 6'8. Davis gets the tip, but Sean T gets the tap for Missouri. John Sunbow. Tipped in nicely, I believe it was by Ricky Frazier. Curtis Berry gets credit. We are a minute and a half into the game. This is Stepanovich. Beautiful feed inside to Curtis Berry. Excellent ball movement by the Missouri Tigers. Frazier with the pass to Panovich. Instead of forcing the shot like many postmen do, wisely passes the bound. Senior three letter man from Selma, Alabama. And he now has all five on the side to Sean Teague again. The big guy is Stepanovich. Nice pass inside, setting up again to Ricky Frazier as Frazier gets to, and Missouri now goes out and somebody hit from the outside, Frank. They're going to have to loosen up the zone. It's contesting very close to the basket. Nice shot by Curtis Berry, who has seven of the day. Sunbolt used the glass nicely. John Sunbolt, sophomore from Blue Springs, Missouri. And had dinner. John T driving the baseline and feeding it off for the quick basket to Missouri's Curtis Berry. He now has nine of Missouri's early points. A little bit of a gift, Frank. John Sunbold with the left hand. Change hands. Excellent move. And was fouled on the play. Beautiful move. The smart thing against his own, he drives from the baseline. He's coming in with his right hand away from the defense, which he should do, and then wisely puts it into his left hand for a nice layup. I'm impressed with him. He is obviously the best on the squad, averaging 13.9 for ball game. Sunbold completes the three-point play. And we're tied again. Dan, has Lamar changed their zone any is since the start of the ball game? No, they really haven't. Uh, it, it's a difficult one to define, Frank, because they're still very active in it. They and the Tigers are running with Curtis Berry at the other end for the easy two. Berry now has 11 points and a classic fast break by Missouri. Missouri is a versatile basketball team. They can Here's the steal by Sean. It should be two. Good Sean anticipation. Teague. His first bucket of the night. This is Sean Teague against that 3-2 zone. Nice play, and Curtis Berry hasn't missed yet. Berry is six out of six, has 13 points for the night. Curtis Berry going for his 14th point of the night, and he's got it. Berry will draw another one. Missouri has it now for his 15th point of the night. He's got it, too. Berry has 15 points, and Missouri grabs. They've won 15 games in a row, and they await the winner of this first game tonight. There's the Missouri Tiger. And right now, the Lamar Cardinals have a three-point lead with 409 remaining. Lamar now is at 13 out of 20. A freshman from Cape Girardeau comes into the ball game, And at the line is Marvin McCrary, 59% free throw shooter out of Memphis, Tennessee, 6'4", 180, a junior. And Missouri has not missed from the free throw line tonight. 29-27, Lamar. 29-28, Lamar. Pass the play with the score. The Lamar Cardinals, 32, and the Missouri Tigers, 28. We'll be back in a moment with our half. You know, the fact that as Stepanovich takes another shot, well, maybe he is going to get a little more involved in the offense. He's taken the last two shots down for Missouri, Dan. They we really haven't seen him go into his act this game, have we? Stepanovich, and we said at the half that Stepanovich was going to have to get more involved in the offense. He's hit two out of play. We followed the first half. Sunvold took his eyes off his man, Oliver, watched the basketball. Stepanovich has come out now and has hit three out of four. Those last two not from in close. Stepanovich had only two points. It's an eight-point lead again for Lamar, 42-34. John T. nice shot. Freshman from Anderson, Indiana, his fourth point of the night. 41. But the Tigers have won big eight titles in consecutive seasons. McCrary off the glass nicely. Marvin McCrary, his first out of the ball game. 
Buried a scoring average of 13 points per ball game and has already scored 16 now in tonight's game. Those, uh, this is a game in which neither team is playing badly. Lamar is just playing a little better at this juncture. Harry's two free throws give him now 17 points. He leads all scores. It's a nice series, a nice fast break sequence. We see some excellent passing. Sunball hits the ball, doesn't catch it, just taps it back. Shake and bake comes quickly back to him. The best play in basketball, pass, return pass. Great picture. Missouri, 67% free throw shooting team on the season. But tonight they have been letter perfect. Missouri has not missed. Bold has six points. He's two out of two tonight. If three out of three. Comes down to putting a man on the line. Lamar does not. This is Sean Teague. Stepanovich. Two more. And Stepanovich now has ten points. Eight of them here in the second half. Excellent pass inside. Due to 44. Long has an awfully quick release. That ball makes it very difficult to defend him. Ricky Frazier comes right back and gets only his second basket of the night. So Missouri it's just a little lethargic to me. I expect him to start breaking loose any minute. Yeah, apprehensive, they say. Pretty soon here they come. Curtis Berry, his first basket of the second half. Come. This is Curtis Berry. Stepanovich to Ricky Frazier for the bucket. Kansas State playing in the West Region has a total of seven points. And Lamar has a seven-point lead, 57 to 50, with seven and a half minutes to go. Sunbold nicely off the glass. His third basket tonight. Only his first basket in the second half. Nine points. Six minutes, 50 seconds to play. Missouri basket will cut it to three. And Curtis Perry went in where it was a dead cinch. And it's a three-point ball game as Perry now has 21. They board to either end, Frank. They're going at it rather timidly. They're not crashing the boards like I'm sure Coach Stern would like them to do. Now has 12 points, 10 of them here in the second half. It's back to a three-point lead again. Now exactly three minutes to play in the game. As Sean T gets two for Missouri, it's a five-point Lamar lead. Pressure all over the court. Deep to turn out to be a very big three-point play. There's Curtis Berry, who may have just ended his career at Missouri. He fouls out with 21 points. Close to the two-minute mark, and Sunvold is fouled. Uh, Stepanovich is fouled. Yes. Clock moving now. Two minutes remaining to play in the game. 66-58. Sunvold cuts it down to a six-point lead. Charleston, Missouri, an all-Big 8 performer this year for the Missouri Tigers. That is the seventh point of the night, and Missouri has still not missed a free throw in the ball game. 11 out of 11 at the line. That's the first miss of the night. After hitting their first 11 for a minute 27 to go, Lamar up by seven. And Sunbold with a steal. Sunbold gets a quick two. 68-63. Solivar's consistency, the first game 26, this one 25. Don Teague with his eighth point of the night, but only 45 seconds to go. It's a four-point Lamar lead. Good play by Sunbold, too. Still alive with 26 seconds to go. Two-point ball game. Don Teague makes the bucket with two points to go. And now Missouri, I believe, has used up their last time. 19 seconds to go. Lamar with a 71-67 lead as B.B. Davis hits two big free throws with 19. Five seconds to go. Four-point lead. Sunball doesn't get it. It's all over. And for the third consecutive year, the Lamar Cardinals have scored a big upset, this time toppling the champions of the Big Eight, the Missouri Tigers, by four, 71-67. You heard the horn ending the game. We'll be back to bring lights at tonight's game after these messages. Our final... No, wait a minute. We're going to stay right here. All right. I'm sorry. So we're... You look at a little bit of the exultation now from Pat Foster as he hugs his players, B.B. Davis and Mike Oliver, as the Lamar Cardinals will advance to a battle against L.A.